Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lipke here with True Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com. Today we have another box breaking for you. This one is on the Wrath of Kings two-player starter. This is called Honor and Treachery, the Battle for Ravenwood. Um, oh, Wrath of Kings has been out for a couple years. I really haven't had a chance to delve into it and take things. Um, I have seen all these models, but uh, I've never seen them out of fresh out of the box. Uh, I've seen them assembled. I've even played with some of them. So uh, this is actually, let's see, we'll flip it over real quick. Uh, this is the Gortizi and the Nazir. And from what I'm told from my friends, one this starter is actually about half of what a standard force would be. Uh, so you would play with another, basically two of these would get you a full army, except you probably wouldn't want to play with both halves of these. But inside you get your dice, you get your little, um, you get your life counter tokens, you get your... Uh, stat cards and you get I think it's about let's see 15-ish uh, models but we'll, we'll count that in a second so without wasting any more time we'll, we'll dive right in wow there's a lot of plastic there um, I'm not going to go through the different bases here's all your bases uh, here's your little heart tokens for your for for your wound markers um, these are actually kind of neat they kind of remind me of um, cinnamon imperials uh, D10, it's a D10 game if you didn't know that yet. Uh, so then we'll go in here. Oh, wow. Somewhere there it is. I think. Well, this is supposed to be a little sticky thing. It is a sticky thing. Uh, but what I didn't realize they did was they give you uh, terrain for setting up this game. So inside you have a, a pond, you have uh, a wall. Two walls, three walls, a couple of little hedgerows, a statue, and uh, two rulers in inches, one for each player. Uh, which actually makes the game really easy to play, obviously. Um, I like these. So we'll set that stuff aside. So we have, uh, zoom out a little bit here for you. So we have the Wrath of Kings Quick Start Rules. This is everything Quick Start Rules should be, in my opinion. Very short. Uh, and then you have the tutorial scenario, which uh, breaks you into playing the game. And then on the back, you have promotional material for the different armies. Which, if you're not familiar with Wrath of Kings, um, I have actually played the demos a couple times. It plays pretty smooth. It is, uh, they've got some really great models. Um, if you played Confrontation back in the day, you actually probably already have some of the sculpts, I think. You'll notice, well, well, here, real quick, I actually have some handy. So, real quick here, we'll do this real quick. You can see right there, those guys look a lot like there, well, we'll zoom in. Those guys look a lot like these guys. Confrontation. Um, whether or not they actually have, you know, bought the rights. I know that Cool Mini or not at some point in time bought some of the Rackham stuff, um, the rights to it. So I don't know. Uh, if all of these models are actually from Confrontation or not, I don't know the line well enough. But what I'm saying is if you own those models, you can use them to play this game easy enough. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so. Oh, uh, wow. There is this. Well, here. We'll do, we're going to do this first. We're going to open this up. And we're going to go through here. Now, I'm not going to give you a crash course on the cards because I've only played the game twice, but what I will do is really quickly go over. This is like your die roll for your, your da when you get damaged, okay? So you have uh, movement. Um, this is your defense. This is your health. 
and this is, uh, I don't remember what that actually is. But anyway, so basically like, uh, well, let's see, one that I recognize the symbols on better. So, like, you know, different modifiers and stuff in the game. Um, this is a shield. Uh, this is actually a wound, and that's death, I think, or a crit. Uh, like I said, I don't remember. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a playthrough. Um, but basically, you've got your 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 stat card with uh, abilities and stuff on the back, just like you know in most games with your stat cards. Uh, and you know it's D10 based, and when you do your damage and stuff, you check your chart here to see the effect. Um, in some cases, nothing happens. Like um, when there's a shield, nothing happens. Sometimes you get moved. Uh, sometimes you get wounded. Sometimes it's parried. Uh, different different flavors for the different warriors. Um, let's see here. The uh, the swordsmen they have uh, deflection. They're also duelists, which uh, means they can. Uh, which basically means if they're engaged with one model, they they gain an offensive mastery bonus. Um, they also have reaction, which is basically allows them to counterattack. Uh, the the hakar. They have Inspire, which, you know, they give plus one, you know, the game plus one. Um, and Training, if this model is engaged with an enemy this activation and would end their activation unengaged, they, they gain a movement of three inches. Um, plus, you know, they have Act with Certainty, Deflection, Offensive Mastery, which Offensive Mastery is, um, it may add up to one die or, you know, whatever the number is. Uh, to any of its attacks. Um, it is participating in before results are generated. And then you have the Longhorn, which we're going to take a look at these models here in a second. The Longhorn, he's he, he's big. Um, he's a size 3, and these guys are size 2, and I think this one's a size 1. Nope, that's a size 2 also. Um, yeah, you've got the different ranks here. Oh, the ranks come into effect on how you build your army. Uh, and we'll go over that in, in another video too. Uh, actually, building your army is, I think, what took me the most getting used to when uh, I was learning how to play the game with my buddy. Um, and then you have Rathor, who is a, uh, he's got a 50 millimeter base, um, he's a size 3. Uh, he has Bounce, which, uh, when the dice for this attack are assigned, this model may assign one additional die uh, with to enemies within 3 inches. Uh, and then we have the uh, the the shores of skirmisher, the alpha, the shield breaker, which I I kind of like the shield breaker. He turned out to be my MVP when I played my starter. Uh, and the scourge hound, um, the skirmisher. Uh, I didn't really get to use any of their abilities that much, um, but the first time they uh, this model kills an enemy with its attack, it gets to move up to two inches. So basically, it's got like plow through. Or you know, overrun. Um, the scores of Alpha. Uh, he has he has skirmisher. He's a stalker. Um, he's also fast. He can sprint six inches instead of his normal four. Uh, and he has pack tactics. Uh, he the, he gains command um, with the scores of trait if uh, from up to nine inches away. He also has different command abilities: inspire and training. Uh, the shield breaker. This guy. <laughs> this guy was fun. He has intimidating presence, which means uh, any enemies that are engaged with him have to make a will check when performing uh, their, their attack actions. Um, this turned out to be really good for me uh, because my opponent failed, uh, which means they suffered automatic... Well, they didn't automatically suffer wounds, but they, they had a chance of being wounded. And he has Howl from Beyond, uh, which... Every time he began an attack when he was engaged, which was about 30% of the game, um, all of the enemies needed to make a will attack one against, or he made a will attack one against each of them, and for each success they suffered one damage, which was actually pretty good because he failed, not, I would say he failed about 45 to 50% of the time, but it was super helpful. Um, and the model's cool. And then you've got the Scourge Hound, which if this is the model I think it is, she has Leap, uh, which we may have played a little bit wrong, but Leap is pretty cool because you can uh, move your model up 
up to six inches in a straight line, um, but then after that you can jump, um, effectively jump. And any models that are underneath that figure, so let's say you're here, and uh, we'll use the hound guy here. Oh, I guess I better zoom out. So, she moves up, and then she leaps. She gets an attack on all those. Pretty slick idea. Uh, anyway, uh, those are the cards. And now we're going to look at the detail of some of the minis. Uh, this is... Shield Breaker. Uh, I guess we'll zoom back in for this. These models are designed for you to get into the game and play it the day you buy it. As you can see, they have peg joints, um, <laughs> and you kind of can't mess them up, or can you, if you're me? You kind of can't mess them up. Um, they're pretty clean right out of the package. There's maybe a little bit of filing on some of these, uh, but as you can see, you know, yeah, he might be, he might be 15 pieces, 20 pieces. He's about 15 pieces. And uh, this guy with very, you probably don't even need to glue him to play at a show. Um, and the details there. So we'll set him off camera real quick. And then we'll take, I don't know who this is. This must be the skirmisher. Oh, no, that's not the skirmisher. That's the Ashman swordsman. Um, as you can see, Uh, you need to, the, the face will pop in there like nothing. Uh, the sword will go there. The other hand will be here. The other arm will be there. It just pops in. And again, they're very clean. And I mean, when we do a figure forge on this, you'll see just how fast this stuff goes together. Can I zoom in a little bit more? Again, the detail, the detail level is there. Should be relatively easy models to paint. Uh, all these little fin thingies can go in the back if you want to put them in. Um, Set that guy aside. Who's next? Now we have... This is probably the Hakar. Or maybe it's another swordsman. Oh yeah, there's a lot of swordsmen. So it's probably another swordsman. Um, put that off to the side real quick. And there is there is uh, a lot of swordsmen that repeat here. There's, I think, how many swordsmen? Um, yeah, there's six of those. So we don't need to open all, all of those up on camera. Um, we'll look at this guy. This is one of the... I think this is a longhorn. Oh no, this is one of the wolves. This is uh, this is one of the berserkers, I believe. And again, you can see. I mean, look. Oops. Goes together like nothing. Um, I will cut that off a little bit, maybe. Gets a little tight. Um, so that is uh, a berserker. Pretty sure, yeah. All 
Oh no, this is just a Scorza. There are no Berserkers, as I have called them, but I really like the Wolves. I can't wait to paint them. Um, and then we have, what do we have here? Oh, this is the, uh, um, this is, this is the Scourge, Scourge Hound, uh, one piece body. This is her, her veil. As you can see, it goes together like nothing. And we'll do a figure forge on these. Um, her, her legs, her hair, arm, and her super duper cool sword. Set her off to the side real quick. But you know what? Real quick, come back to this guy. No, that is that is a skirmisher. Yep, that is a skirmisher. I figured because he was bigger than this guy. And this is the Alpha, I'm going to guess, because it looks like those are strapped on there. A little bit of cleanup. I could be wrong, that might not be the Alpha. We'll set her off to the side, because I kind of thought the Alpha was a male. And we'll find out as we go along here. And I'm trying to not mess up my pieces as I do this to make my life easier later. Uh, this is another uh, swordman. I'm pretty sure. And again, you can see the detail. Um, the models are really designed for you to put them together quickly. We'll set that guy up to the side. This is another skirmisher. We have, here we go, I don't think we've seen this model yet. This is the uh, Ashman car, um, and I know that because of the shield. Now we can set the, the car off to the side, and again you can see the, the model is designed to go together quickly, easily. It's really designed to be able to pick it up at a convention or wherever you're at in the store and play that day. And okay, let's see here. What is this? This is the Alpha. Hey, I think I got an extra model. Oh no, she was a skirmisher. This is the Alpha. You can tell. Look at that. Look at that blade. Look at that big hand. I was right. The Alpha is a male, just like I thought. Um, but this model that I said might have been the Alpha that I was confused on. Um, she has two blades. And, you know, well, the leg, obviously, and everything else. And she's actually a skirmisher. I'm pretty sure... Or I got two Scourge Hounds. Um, I know for a fact that this is the Scourge Hound, this other model. She's got the claw, just like she has on the kit. And she's got her sword, which is there. Um, so, process of elimination. Um, anyway, back to the, the Alpha.
the Alpha is one of the bigger models. Um, he's got a few pieces. He's got uh, nice blades. Look at look at the head. Let's do this there. Set the Alpha to the side. Not mixing up too many pieces, I hope. Um, then we'll look at. We'll look at the. Uh, this has got to be Rathor. Rathor's got the trident type of scepter weapon. Rathor has a huge body. There's a lot of body there. Um, th this is the Rathor. Um, so. He has maybe 15 pieces again. That seems to be like a theme. Uh, I mean, again, the models go together, as you can see, really quickly. Um, a little bit of glue. You, you, to actually probably play these your first time out, you probably don't need glue. We'll set him off to the side now. Somewhere safe. Uh, this is another swordsman. We're not going to go ahead and open them up. There's like half a dozen of them. Uh, this is another swordsman. That means we're only missing one model, which that means this is the longhorn. The longhorn comes in mostly one piece, it looks like. Uh, he's got his gladius. That's what I'm going to call it. It's about that size. Well, Maybe it's not a good idea to the rest of the world, but to this guy it is. Uh, as you can see, good detail. Uh, again, he's going to go together really fast. He's got the little buckler um, like that. I mean, again, you could probably play with these guys without gluing them together. Uh, his two horns. I guess that's not going to stay there without glue. But, but you get the idea. Um, so, without uh, going too crazy here, you have Rathor. You have... Or, or, I'm sorry, you have Longhorn. You have Rathor. Again, I'm going to try not to mess these up too much. Uh, six swordsmen. Three of them are in bag here. Um, and then I have three of them out. Plus you have the Hakar. And that is the Nazir portion of the starter. Uh, now I'll slide that off to the side as best I can. And then you have Gortizi. Gortizi. Everybody calls him Gortizi, but I don't think that's the way it's actually supposed to be said. And then you have the three skirmishers. Here's Here's one in a bag. Here's two. Uh, and she is the third. Now you might be wondering, like, well, wait a minute. Clearly, um, the Naziri, or the, the Nazir, the Naziri, uh, have more models. It's an unfair advantage. It's actually surprisingly balanced. Um, so, then we have, let's see here, who is this? This is, this is the Alpha. Or, whoops, part of the Alpha. Uh-oh, see, I already did it. This is the Scourge Hound. That's probably her leg. Uh, 
Um, and shield breaker. That's what I did wrong. That's the alpha. This is shield breaker. Uh, there's a few more pieces over here, obviously, but uh, and that's pretty much uh, what you get. I'm gonna pull everything back on. See if I can make it all fit together so you get a good idea. Uh, there's a total of what? Nine. Total of 15 models. Um, and nine of those are the Naziri. There's a swordsman. And we'll pull this guy back on here real quick. I'll do that. Plus, you get the dice, the quick start rules. Um, a little bit of terrain so two players can sit down and get a feel for the game right off the bat. Thanks for watching. This has been a box breaking with Matt Lemke from Through Gamer Goggles, gamer-goggles.com. Uh, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, those things actually go a long way. If uh, you like what you saw or you want to see more, or if you have any more questions about the starter, please post comments at the bottom. That's what this is about. This is a community. Um, I'm really starting to work towards miniatures a lot more. Uh, along with role-playing games this year. Uh, for those of you that have backed me in the past, I will be launching my Season 6 Kickstarter October-ish. Uh, thank you uh, for all the support you've ever given me. This year my Kickstarter is going to feature a few things that make it a little bit different. So uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys think about it when uh, the time comes. Thanks for watching and have a good day.